You hear Labor Day and you think barbecues and end of summer sales, but the holiday's origin is anything but relaxing. It's pretty bloody. Labor Day traces its origins to workers' movements in the 19th century, which came to a head in the 1890s, a decade that was marked by a long depression and stagnating wages for many workers. Sound familiar? The turning point came in the summer of 1894 when members of the Pullman Palace Car Company went on strike and the American Railway Union joined in, organizing a nationwide boycott against the real car manufacturer. The federal government deployed the federal troops to Chicago in response to the strike, leading to violence, riots, and approximately 70 people's deaths. In the aftermath of the strike, and in an attempt to extend an olive branch to the labor movement, President Grover Cleveland signed legislation designating the first Monday in September as a new federal holiday, Labor Day. But the act wasn't completely benevolent. Part of why the government chose a September holiday was to try and divert worker attention away from May 1st, or May Day, a pre-existing celebration of workers' rights that leaders felt was too socialist and too militant in nature. Most people don't really dwell on the working class origins of Labor Day, but in 2022, that history actually feels more relevant than ever. Across the country, the U.S. has seen a renewed wave of organizing from workers in many different fields, from major retailers like Amazon, to fast food chains like Chipotle and Starbucks, to even some digital media companies. So if you find yourself enjoying a much needed day off on Monday, feel free to fire up some burgers on the grill. Just spare a moment to thank the generations of workers who organized to get you that day off in the first place.